G post. Actually, let's talk about the Polo G post. Actually, I, I, I want to talk about that. My man Polo G got on let's see, Instagram, and it felt like he was talking about somebody specific. I can't figure out who he's talking about. Y'all gonna help me? We're gonna we're gonna put a name to this sneak this right here because he's definitely this is sneak this Sundays, and he's definitely dissing somebody. We just don't know who the fuck he's talking about. So Polo G posted this, people, right? He said there's a lot of rappers. And you could put it's, it's a lot of rappers you could put in one lane, but as far as features, topics, or talent, I'm the most versatile. Y'all just pick and choose who to give credit to because lyrically, I'm better than your favorite rapper. And he says, current gen. Huh. Then he says, like, I could accomplish the same shit in my career as the next man, but it's popular to dick ride him. And this is why I, I, I think it's about one person. He says, it's popular to dick ride him. At the moment, y'all praise him for the same shit I bend it. Because y'all brainwashed behind hype. I'm popular for good music, nothing else. What is he talking about? Y'all are saying every name. Somebody said it's Dirk. Now, why would he talk about Dirk like this? Him and Dirk is cool. They're both from Chicago. Somebody said, nah, he's talking about, he's not talking about Drake. Somebody said he's talking about Ruga. No, he's not talking. Clearly, he's talking about somebody who's popular than him, more popular than him, right? Like, just reading this alone, it sounds like he's talking about somebody who's more popular than him. So, like, I could accomplish the same shit in my career as the next man, but it's popular to dick ride him at the moment, which means it would somebody, he feels somebody's getting dick written, written pause, <laughs> Um, in the moment, which means would be somebody who's getting more hype and fanfare than him at the moment. And see, I praise him for the same shit he been did. Cause y'all brainwashed. Leechy baby, I'm not being, I'm not, I'm not being, um, um, you said stop playing dumb. I'm not being dumb. I'm like literally asking the question. Some people say young boy. Why would he start going at young boy though? All right, let me let me get in the comments section. Even though this was posted on Shade Room Teens, somebody said lyrically Polo is better than a lot of your favorite rappers, including YB. But in general, he's nice as hell and not the best though. In general, he's nice as hell, but not the best though. Well, I say this about what Polo G is saying. I think Polo G's demeanor comes across as a nice guy. And when you're in that lane about rapping about street shit, if you were beefing more and you were seen as the guy who's a killer or a shooter, your music hits harder for fans who are usually not only trying to buy into the music, they want to buy into the image. Maybe that's what he's calling the hype. Polo G seems like a really nice guy, right? Polo G just like, yeah, Polo G raps about street shit, but you don't think about it when you're thinking about, oh, shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, is he too nice? P.T. Bullet says, Ak, you know it's against Lil Baby. Why would this be against Lil Baby? With all due respect, Lil Baby wraps circles around uh, Polo G. And Lil Baby don't like me. I'm just telling the truth. Like, why, like Lil Baby does not rap, like, Polo G cannot rap with Lil Baby. Let's go. Bro, none of these new rappers can rap with Lil Baby when he wants to. When he wants to. When he starts getting off that walk and he starts and starts sounding like a dead goat and repeating the same cadences as Woe and those songs we've heard 10 million times, yeah, he, he comes across as a little mid. But when he's spitting, that boy can spit. That boy can spit. That boy can spit. Hemi Freestyle, who they talking about? Tyler Long says, obviously, it's YB. How's it YB? Somebody said, Cat Baby, can I fuck with Polo G? 
Somebody said, nah, he's talking about why he's talking about YB. Is he? I know y'all gonna hate this, but hey, everybody get up in the Discord, man. Yo, hop in voice chat with me. I, I I need to hear why y'all think, and I'm only staying here for this topic. I'm gonna get out after this. Who y'all think Polo G is talking about? Polo G's one of those dudes that it don't sound like he got beef with nobody, but if I'm reading this, it sounds like he don't fuck with somebody. So I say he's speaking on Cardi. Nah, Cardi's in a different lane. Also, here's the thing. Cardi been in the game way before, um, way before Polo G. Like Cardi's probably accomplished things that Polo G hasn't accomplished. Like with all due respect, you know what I mean? Somebody says Bow Wow? What are you talking about? We got a poll going on on YouTube. They said, who is Polo G talking about? The, the options are Lil Baby, YB, or Drake. Some people say, nah, you got to be talking about Rod Wave. Why would it be Rod Wave? I feel like Rod Wave is in like such a unique lane. Pull up Polo G streaming numbers? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's the thing. Polo G, he's a sleeper to me, bro. Polo G Spotify. Yeah, like, I feel like he's left out a conversation that he clearly deserves to be in. Like, this is gonna sound disrespectful, but I'm not trying to disrespect him at all because I fuck with Polo G heavy. Like, sometimes Polo G gets the A Boogie treatment. Like, Boogie's nice as shit. But Boogie don't just be popping shit and talking and shit to niggas like, I'm the best, fuck y'all. Like, like he's just kind of let the music speak. And, and because, like, people like egotistical niggas. Like, niggas who don't wait to be crowned, they take the crown. They're self-proclaimed rather than they're fan voted. People like people like that. And Polo G is one of those guys. He makes great music. People like him. People like everything he does. But he doesn't come out and says, yo, I don't know, like whatever stake to the claim. He doesn't do that. He got 23 million monthly listeners. That's crazy. Hmm. Y'all think it's YB? I feel like y'all just putting everybody against YB. Did the young boys say something against um, Polo G recently? Oh, my God. Mark DJ. Mark DJ says, Polo G is the big Sean of drill rappers. We like, listen, we love big Sean. So, so we're not going to take that as no type of disrespect. But I get what you're saying. Where it's like, okay. Nah, nah, nah. nah. You, you can't call him no big Sean of drill rappers. Fuck out of here. Somebody said, nah, it's always. Yo, why niggas just said that? Niggas say he's the big Sean of drill rappers. Fuck no. What does that mean? Where that nigga boom at? Where that nigga boom around? Somebody get a little boom in here. Let's check Lil Dirk streaming numbers. Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk. Oh, wow. He got more monthly listeners than Lil Dirk? No way. Yeah, Polo G do got more more monthly listeners than Lil Dirk. 23 million to 20 million. 
I'm not gonna lie, perception wise, Dirk just seems the way bigger artist. But if we're going just off numbers, Polo G is a bigger artist. That's crazy. Let me see if this is accurate. Let's check Lil Baby, because Lil Baby should be bigger than both of them, right? Yeah, 30 million. Yeah, it makes sense. But is is this a good check though? Is this a good check? Is a is this a good check? Cause I think Young Boy is probably under both of them. Let me see. NBA Young Boy. Young Boy only got 16 million. But if you look at streams, Young Boy streams more than both of them, but he drops more than both of them. Yeah, I don't know who he's, who he's talking about. I'm going to look someone up. Yeet. Wow. Oh. Okay, this is the point I was going to make. Yeet has 11.5 million monthly listeners. Was someone that that that, that that's... um. A Spotify uh, employee told me, they said, yo, Yeet is the artist with, like, his monthly listeners, they stream his music five times more than other artists' monthly listeners stream their music. So, basically, Yeet fans only listen to Yeet. Like, Yeet fans, if you look at their playlist, it's all Yeet. They don't listen to nobody else. Yeet, 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 all Yeet. While you might have somebody who's a Dirk fan they listen to a little bit of Polo G. They listen to a little bit of Money Bag Yo. They listen to a little bit of Roddy Rich. So sometimes this number of, and I'm not saying it to disrespect nobody, I'm just saying this monthly listeners thing could be deceiving, especially when people got cult fan bases, right? Like I could imagine Youngboy fan base probably mostly listen to Youngboy because he drops so much music. Yeah, he only has. 16 million, look, NBA, NBA, young oh boy. He has 16 million um, monthly listeners, but they probably listen three times as much as the, the, the 20 million people that listen to Dirk. And it has to be the case because he outstreams Dirk, right? That's just simple math. That's interesting. Let's go back to this, man. Who the fuck is Polo G talking about? A lot of people are saying it's, it's um, YB. So now help me understand. Why would he just randomly diss YB? Huh? Jealousy? Nah. Polo G don't come across like a jealous dude, bro. He he come across like a nigga who stay out of shit and he only answers to shit if he's needed to, bro. Somebody said, oh, he needed a quick clout IV. I remember when I offered Sharp the clout IV, man. Somebody said, it's Nardo Wick. Yeah, but nobody compares Nardo Wick to Polo G. We're going to figure this out, though. We're going to come back to this. Let me see how much Nardo Wick has. Yeah, 7 million. No, no, no way. Salute to Nardo Wick, though. All right. We're going to figure this out. Hey, I think I talked about this topic last week, or not last week, but like the last time I was on here. <laughs> 